Hello there, it's Krimp and welcome to another speed build. So this week we're building a summer camp and I am back from visiting my parents for well over 10 days and I had a bit of time to build and notice the bit, a bit part because like it's always hectic there and yeah anyways uh, so I had this build and you know like how from time to time I'll tell you I was working on that build like two months ago and I didn't feel like continuing it or something like that and one time I told you I had this month six this build six months and I just uploaded it so this is a new record for me because I started building this build like the part that you were currently seeing last June so exactly 11 months <laughs> ago and I stopped building it I don't recall why but every time that I looked at it I was like yeah I don't want to continue it so the idea back then and well the idea still is that it's a summer camp for ex I guess young scouts to go and visit uh, like you know how I guess camps are in real life I never went to one because my parents told me that I wouldn't be a good applicant because I never did my bed I I don't know like I was never allowed to go one in one and like they were like oh you will cry after two days and you want to come back so it's like a waste of money so Anyways, I don't know how summer camp feels, that's my point. So yeah, if you see like any inaccuracies, uh, I guess it's not my fault. So yeah, I started it and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling continuing it. And every time I saw it, I was like, yeah, no, I don't know, like something bothered me. And while I was visiting my parents, uh, last time, which was three months ago, I went there and all I did, like, the whole six days I was there was playing my time at Portia. I didn't do anything else, uh, literally. And this time when I went there, like they kept telling me, my parents kept telling me that, oh my God, like what are you doing all day? Why are you playing with this girl? And why you keep making her run? Like there's no point to this game, not that they find any point to any game, but anyways. Uh, so when I went there, I was super excited to play my time at Portia because, well, I don't have time to play any games during the week. So when I went there, they were like, oh, are you going to keep playing with this girl or like, are you done? So I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't play if I want, you know, to keep my sanity. So I was like, let's do something more productive. Let's build in the Sims. And they didn't judge it too much, like only a bit, so it was very acceptable, like I could actually build. But I don't know, like, because it's always hectic there, it's like I can't focus into building. So this build, uh, the screenshot part, was what I did while I was there. Well, the entire build, like after that was me continuing the build after 11 months. So I felt like building something in, um, how is it called, the outdoor retreat word? Uh, granite Falls. And I started doing like a whole cab wood cabin restaurant thing that I had on my to build list for so long. But because like it needed so much attention and I couldn't really focus, I couldn't, like I didn't really feel very creative. I was like, yeah, no. <clears throat> so I saw this build, I'm like, should I try? Should I? And I actually started building it and building it. And I did it within a day. Because, well, I didn't have anything else to do. But the problem is that the screenshot part took me two hours. And the building part that you are currently seeing took me two more hours. So in total, essentially four hours. But these four hours took me the entire freaking day, like I was done at the end of the day and I'm like, huh, how long did it took me? It must have been a while. And I see and I'm like, only four hours? I must have not recorded something. So yeah, essentially anything that I built there, like it took me 
quadruple the time uh, because I couldn't actually focus into doing it but I'm happy with the results and I'm happy that I actually got to finally finish the build after freaking 11 months, right? So, the idea behind it... Um, thankfully, we had terrain tools, which 11 months ago we didn't and we also didn't have, I'm guessing, Get Famous? I think Seasons was just released. This was the reason why I like the whole scout thing. Uh, it inspired me to do this camp, to start it, I guess, and do it. Um, so I originally had done three, like, room for camps. L not room for camps, like, camper. I don't know how they're called, like, tents? They're not tents. I'm not sure, like, these things. <laughs> the little... I don't know, however, however they're called. Um, so I essentially, while building it, not building it, landscaping it, yeah, building it, yeah, maybe building it too, I realized that it doesn't really make sense because in any camp that I've seen on TV, <laughs> I don't have real experience, uh, you have camps and tents for boys and girls, they don't sleep together. Also, from TV, you usually separate young girls with teen girls, which isn't always the case, but I feel like it's mostly usually the case. So I was like, yeah, this makes sense. I should probably have four camps for teens and boys and girls and kids. So I added an extra camp. I landscaped it. I added a river and a little lake. So, essentially, the campers can go fishing, like, not actually fishing, though. So, yeah, I was really happy. Um, and then I got inspired by, I don't know what, but I remember, like, essentially, the campers or the scouts would have, essentially, different, would be in different teams. Um, so I decided to give the team a badge and use the um, get-together, like those things. And I separated the teams based on that. And I also decorated the rooms based on their age and gender. So you will see that, for example, the kid boys tent um, is more like, I don't know, sci-fi, if you will. Uh, so like Harry Potter stuff and like books and geek stuff, essentially, what boys would like. And then you have like the typical boys that, you know, we portray, portray in the society. And then I have the girls camp for kids, which is more essentially like pink. And you can see these posters in the walls. I feel like they helped to make the camp uh, more personalized. So you have like idols, uh, kids idols, like either that are soccer players or like singers and whatnot. And here you have the other one is, yeah, not this one. And then you have the teen girls, which is more preppy as a room in general. And you can see it's more clean and such. And they are like more into, I'm not sure, should I say like, Essentially, the Jonas Brothers or the... Uh, how are the other guys called that they broke as a band, but everyone wants them to come back? You know, like teen boy bands. <laughs> um, and then I have the teen boys camp, tent, I don't know how it's called. Um, and it's more like sci-fi and Illuminati and like stuff like that, that... I don't know, like boys that I met when they were teens liked, like conspiracy stuff. Uh, not that I think that only boys like it or whatnot, because I'm really into conspiracies, but anyways, just I'm trying to get my point across, like, you know, each room has a different theme. And also I made this room, like the teen boys, bedroom, bedroom, tent, uh, more messy in comparison with the other rooms, because like, I haven't really met any teen boy who's like, oh yeah, let's clean. I mean, of course they exist, but I don't know any. So, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Oh yeah, the entire time I was texting my boyfriend pictures and I'm like, 
you will see in the back we have a big building uh, which I will work any minute, any minute now. So this big building I was like to my boyfriend, he hasn't go to camp either. Um, so I asked him, do you think that this building should be like kittens? And if it is kittens like this one, it doesn't really make sense to not have you know, a place that they can eat or should be like a room where the, I guess, um, officers, not officers, like the people in charge of the camp, I don't know their actual like role names, um, should leave or like what it should be. I'm like, it's too small. Also, I've done showers because like, I feel like it's important. Where are you gonna shower? And he told me, well, since you are in camp, you can eat outside. So make an outside eating area. Um, which I made it next to the quote-unquote fake lake uh, and you will see it in the screenshots a bit more I think because I'm done with the exterior uh, so I decided here to create essentially the bathing and souring it doesn't have sours actually you know the property of the lot I guess because I feel like being clean is very important I don't know, like, is there any calm grounds that they don't have showers? I feel like this is very weird. Um, and I decided to make essentially a common area where everyone could gather and I added the little board, the scout board, so they can see their assignments and everything. I wanted the calm board to be in each and every, I should call tent, but it couldn't really fit. So yeah, also we added a very tiny, tiny kitchen and I expanded this whole, I guess, building and I added a second store, story? Yeah, second story, which uh, essentially is where the, uh, I guess, people in charge stay. Um, and I'm not sure if usually in camps, campgrounds, like summer camps, whatever, uh, like the people in charge live there like their entire lives or like they come and go because I was under the impression that they come only for the summer because in a couple of movies like everyone leaves during like the end of summer but I've seen in uh, how is it called the Queer Eye I seen in Queer Eye that was it yeah it was Queer Eye that they did a makeover to a guy who lived in a summer camp I think it was summer camp, like for kids, and they lived there their entire lives. Like they actually have houses there, which I obviously couldn't fit. So maybe there are two type of camps. Have you been? Like I'm guessing most people, like especially in the U.S., have been in camp because I don't know. I feel like it's such a common thing. So if you have, please let me know because I'm very curious. I wasn't sure because of that. If, you know, I should make a couple run the camp, you know, a guy and a girl, so they were essentially the camp uh, managers, so they I would add essentially a double bed, or if they would be like those people who live together there for the summer, so they share a bedroom, because obviously I couldn't fit <laughs> separate bedrooms. So yeah, this was something that I wasn't sure. Also, I really wanted to create a lobby area and stuff like that, but it wasn't possible. So I settled for an office upstairs, you know, with all essentially the files of every kid or teen who's been there. So yeah, and I think after doing the bedroom and the bathroom, because I felt like it was very important for like the managers, the camp managers to have their own bathrooms and not share with the kids. I don't know why, I just felt like it, even though in reality they probably share. I don't know, I don't know how it works. But I'm really happy with the final result. I'm really happy with how the lake slash river turned out. And here I created a little, how is it called, gardening area, I guess. Uh, because, I don't know, I felt like it made sense. The kids could take care of the plants and they can have fresh harvestables from there and like use them in daily, like in meals. Um, plus it helps with the whole scout thing, I think. Like, you know, the quests that you have. So yeah, here are the screenshots. I'm really proud of the lake. Like you cannot see it that well. I've done some close-up pictures, but I'm so proud of it. You don't even know. 
also I am so happy that I got to essentially <laughs> finally finish this video like almost a year later but I'm really happy with the final result um, and as you can see it's like you probably didn't notice but it's essentially tent I'm not sure again how it's called has its own mailbox and it's a different animal I feel like that was super cute so yeah I don't know like I really try to customize its tent to the personality of the kids or teens who live there so yeah super happy super super happy really hope that you will also like it like I don't know I'm proud of it even though it took me an entire day to finish it I'm really happy with it uh, so yeah I don't know what else to say I would love to know if you've been into camp and like tell me your experience and like how camp is and if you share bedrooms with older kids or like where the showers are because I'm not really familiar with it. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll have an amazing day and take care. Bye!